When it comes to updating a tiled splashback, there's no need to remove the existing tiles and have an added expense when you can paint them. It all comes down to planning the design and having the right materials. You can paint the entire splashback one colour, but we're going to go with something a little different and do chevron stripes. It's going to give the kitchen a whole new dynamic at a really affordable price. So let's get started. These are all the materials and tools required to update the tiled splashback. This is an excellent kit to use because it has nearly everything you need except for a few bits and pieces. Firstly, give the tiled splashback a really good clean to get rid of the soap scum and any dust or dirt. We're using sugar soap. A really clean surface is crucial in order for the paint to adhere to the tiles. If you've got existing tiles, it's great to use the tile cleaner provided in the kit because it really removes all that stubborn dirt, grime and grease. The design can be whatever you want it to be. It really comes down to planning it and making sure your measurements are accurate. We're going with the chevron stripes because it gives a nice contemporary look to a drab old kitchen. Because we're doing chevron stripes, it's crucial to get the measurements accurate to ensure a nice straight line. Whether you're doing the geometric, the chevron or a crisscross pattern, tape will be your best friend because it will always give you a crisp line. The most time consuming part will be doing all your measurements and ensuring your lines are nice and crisp. The painting's gonna be the easy part. Just be mindful of the thickness of your tape because that will affect your pattern. Because the measurements on this are so precise, we need to have even spacing. So I'm gonna come up again and tape it off at the top. This will make it nice and symmetrical. You can see the pattern really starting to take form. The tape may look a little bit messy, but there's no need to worry because we're painting within the straight edges along here. So I'm going to continue with this pattern with the even spacing along the rest of the splashback. Use a utility knife to cut off the excess tape just where you're painting. Now it's time to paint. Be sure to follow the instructions on your kit in regards to mixing, application and drying time. I'm using a green to really brighten up the tiled splashback. Use a paintbrush for the smaller, trickier parts and a roller for the bigger parts. Make sure you follow the instructions provided in the kit in relation to the drying time. The tape needs to be removed before the paint has fully cured. If it's left on for too long, the paint will actually peel away with the tape. And fingers crossed we've got all our measurements accurate and correct and the chevron stripes will turn out perfect. So far, so good. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to get it all peeled off to see the finished product. How fantastic is this? With beautiful bold colours in a monochrome setting, this splashback has gone from drab to fab. This cost a fraction of the price for what it would cost to have the tiles fully replaced. Make a big bold statement by buying the kit and doing it yourself. Money's where I